prolonged face-to-face -face contact by speaking in front of somebody for a long time. If that person has the virus, you may catch it through the respiratory droplets that you may spread or that person may spread to you. Anything that somebody has used that may have secretions of body fluids, if that person is infected, you are going to get uh, the transmission. How to avoid monkeypox disease? And as you may know, monkeypox disease is a viral disease and it is related to smallpox. It is not related to chickenpox and belongs to a family of viruses called uh, the virulia uh, virus. And monkeypox has some symptoms. We're going to talk about the symptoms and, and uh, the signs of monkeypox disease in another video. But today we just want to hit on how to avoid monkeypox disease, four ways to avoid monkeypox. And stay tuned as we go into it in detail. The first one we're going to talk about is to avoid casual contact. The second one is to avoid sexual and intimate contacts, as well as the, uh, the third one being to avoid social and uh, congregate uh, contacts. And then lastly, we're going to talk about uh, using vaccine to prevent or to avoid monkeypox disease. The first one that we're going to talk about is to avoid contact, uh, casual contact, uh, such as, you know, skin to skin contacts, especially with people who have a rash. If you see somebody with a rash, you don't know what it is. Avoid close skin to skin contact with those people because why? You don't know what they got. The other way is also to avoid secondary contacts. Secondary contact would be something like getting contact through uh, the spread of body fluids in, in, in beds, beds, beddings, you know, pillowcases, bed spreads and, and stuff like that. If you happen to stay in a hotel and your bed has not been made, don't take it for granted. I'm pretty sure nobody does that. But just watch out for your your bedding to be consistently changed and, 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 and and washed before you use it if you are out of how out of your home and if you're in a house where somebody has it definitely avoid uh, sharing anything with that person S such as clothing bedding toothbrushes uh, razor blades anything that comes in contact with the skin may potentially spread a disease to you also don't touch or share cups as well as utensils with such people anything that somebody has used that may have secretions of body fluids if that person is infected you are going to get uh, the transmission also uh, uh, wash hands very frequently you know we all know about covid we, uh, we we learned how to wash our hands and use hand sanitizers they still work in preventing or avoiding uh, monkey pox so wash hands with soap as much as possible and also use uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizers um, as, as much as possible, especially before you touch your face, your eyes, or your skin. And definitely after using the restroom. I would, in particular, when you're sitting on a uh, restroom, a public place in the restroom, you probably should cover it with, with tissue or uh, a, to a seat, toilet seat covers because you never know who else um, has used it before you did. The other thing is uh, in some places where animals are used either for for meat or for game or you know for uh, play or whatever you should call it in, in sub-Saharan Africa in particular in uh, Central and West Africa uh, you should avoid bushmeat avoid touching dead animals avoid touching live animals sick animals obviously because you never know what they carry uh, the other thing is uh, if you do not know somebody or if somebody is not a really close friend a family member maybe your spouse or your own children whom you know have not been exposed then you got to avoid kissing avoid hugging avoid cuddling avoid doing anything of the sort with such a person because you never we're talking about close contact right this is not airborne it's close contact so if you avoid kissing you haven't seen somebody for a long time you want to uh, some cultures we just need a kiss to make you know people know that we miss them and we, we're happy to see them but in the days of 
monkeypox outbreak, I would limit kissing, kissing people on the cheek or on the skin because it is contact. Either you transfer it to them on their skin or you pick it up from their skin. Or if you kiss on the mouth, definitely because you are also exchanging body fluid. And then <coughs> especially avoid it if you suspect that person may have a disease. One way it is spread is through a face-to-face -face contact, prolonged face-to-face -face contact by speaking in front of somebody for a long time. If that person has the virus, you may catch it through the respiratory droplets that you may spread or that person may spread to you. So uh, wearing mask incidentally is so important if you want to avoid uh, uh, contact with the virus. The next uh, way to avoid uh, uh, monkey packs is to avoid sexual contact, you know, unknown partners that you may uh, fall on. If that person has the disease, uh, because it is transmitted basically or mainly through uh, skin contact or body fluid exchange, avoiding sexual contacts of people you don't know would definitely help you avoid monkey pox disease. The outbreak that came out has shown that most of the people who have monkeypox now got it uh, because of multiple sexual contacts. Uh, gay men who exchange partners on the fly. Those people have come across the disease as quickly as never before. The next uh, item we want to talk about is to avoid social and congregate settings. Social and congregate events, you know, like going to the club, um, where most people are basically not completely dressed and having to dance among people, you know, with skin touching each other. If you want to avoid the disease, that's a place you want to avoid. Why? Because if somebody has it, as long as you come in contact with that person, you may get it because the body fluids may, may come upon you. And the other thing is because you are in this close area, you may also exchange um, a respiratory uh, fluids as we speak um, droplets of water come out droplets that may carry the virus so if somebody is around you that is infected that is a place for you to get a disease the last one is to get vaccinated if you have a known acquaintance if somebody you know has been tested and or they have come up with monkey pox disease then the next thing you should do to avoid it is to get vaccinated and the vaccines are in short supply so at, at, at the moment the only time people are qualified or given the shots or the vaccines are when they have come in contact with people who have been found to be sick with monkeypox disease or when they have been exposed either on the job you know certain um, healthcare providers who work with uh, patients may be exposed so for such people they may get the vaccine as well as people some uh, designated people who work in the lab in the laboratories who also deal with virus specimen may also be exposed so those people if you are included in um, among these people then definitely you have to get a vaccine to pr protect you from getting the disease apart from that people who have also been to a place where there's been a known outbreak especially if you had a sex partner in a place where there is a known outbreak then you definitely need to get vaccinated because you have been exposed and exposure can only um, be stopped i mean your infection can transmission can only be stopped if you are um, uh, vaccinated so if you have been in a place where the people there uh, may have been known to have the disease or where people have started getting the disease then definitely you need to vaccinate. Vaccines are in short supply, so in order to get uh, vaccinated, you need to call your state health department or your local health department for directions as to where to get yourself vaccinated. Thank you for sticking around to the end. And we'll end here by saying, beloved, I wish I above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as you're so prosperous.